As a reformed ugly person myself, I have experience in this field. You see, looks are a big part of how humans choose their mating partners, but it isn't everything. And I know you may be saying, wow, unlucky, you're saying I should choose someone for their personality rather than their looks? No, f that. Why go for a cool, ugly person when you can be with a cool, hot person? No, what I mean is there are other factors in the initial courting phase. And let me explain further. Let's pretend you're a girl. And if you are a girl, congratulations. It's a Thursday night. You were going out with your girls on the weekend, but you got off work early today. So you decided to head to the bar. You look to your right and this guy raises his glass at you. But before you have any time to react, your left shoulder gets tapped. Oh, this man introduces himself and says he's a dancer. A good song comes on and he takes you to the dance floor. Then this man starts getting down. I'm talking left cheek, right cheek, nine nines to the 2000s jiggle twerk. It's safe to say he's probably not getting a date. His moves are a little brash for a first encounter. But what if this dude comes in with the slickness? I'm talking smooth operator James, make the girl swoon bond. He probably stands a better chance. Now, this scenario is definitely a little extreme, but my point is personality can actually matter as much as looks during your initial encounter with someone. It's just the less desirable you are, the better your personality has to be. The initial first impression can make a massive difference Shout out Pete Davidson, Jackman, and Timothy. Now, these fellows are certainly not ugly by any means, but they're labeled heartthrobs. Heartthrobs. That's a tough leap, but the initial impression you get from these guys makes you associate positive qualities to their personalities. And one of the biggest positive qualities you associate with them is confidence. Confidence is a maker or a breaker, and it's tough because the less desirable you are, the less you can get away with. Confidence can be seen as too aggressive, creepy, or unwarranted cockiness if you are less desirable to most, so you really have to do things just right. The key to all this is true confidence, and that is the most difficult part, having true confidence in yourself. Even the best looking people who are constantly given praise struggle with this. Now, I don't have all the answers, and there are many ways to become truly okay with yourself or close enough to where people can sense it, one of which being meditation, understanding the world around you. If you're zen and comfortable in your own skin, not only will you be able to approach the opposite sex easier, your confidence will be effortless and they will be able to feel that. On top of that, if you still get rejected, you'll be fine and won't take it personally. And because of this, you can and will shoot your shot more, eventually making the basket. If you are the ugliest human on the planet and can hypothetically shoot your shot at every single person you find attractive on earth, chances are you're making at least one basket. The answer to a lot of life's problems can be solved with self-care. Working on yourself before worrying about what others think of you can go a long way in influencing what others think of you. On the other hand, if you constantly worry about what others think, chances are you're not going to be thought very highly of. But hold on now, being yourself isn't the magical answer to life's problems. Most likely you've got to fake it a little bit. If you're a fan of Monster Musume and listen to Machine Gun Kelly on repeat with confidence, first of all, you've probably suffered a brain injury. Second, you probably won't find many desirable, quote unquote, desirable people who share your interests. Yes, it's time for that classic Disney Channel trope where the main character pretends to be someone else to bag the hot person, ultimately realizing they should just be themselves in the end. If you agree with this logic, then grow up. They never got the hot person in the end, and that's the point of this video. If you later find out the person you've wanted this whole time actually sucks as a human being, well, that's on you, isn't it? That's not the main goal. The main goal is for you to get the person. I'm not saying be someone else entirely. That would just go against the whole Zen confidence thing. I'm saying make additions to your personality. Keep liking what you like. Keep doing what you do, but put yourself in a better position for success. If you stay home all day, it's just going to be harder to meet people, right? If you currently don't make money, it's just going to be tough to take someone out when you do meet them. If you don't wash your legs, your clothes, your respect yourself, bro. Like, there's some basics you need to do. You need to analyze your faults while also making additions to yourself to get closer to your prize. 
That saying, look good, feel good, is very true. You mustn't just work on your inner self and leave it there. Work on both your outer self and your inner self because they go hand in hand. Looking your best will certainly help you feel more confident. And if you remember, confidence is key. You truly must go above and beyond. And I know it's not fair that you just can't walk around like this and still be an ultra desirable opposite sex magnet. But well, life isn't fair, right? We must play the hand of the card something hand we were dealt do your best with what you have there is always a way now this advice must be handled with care when you do turn into a super sex god first of all remember me when you get to the top second of all always remember in the end when you finally get the human of your dreams personality is more important than looks that person you spent so long going after make sure they don't have a personality or you automatically lose the game all will be for naught remember find someone hot with a great personality and for those of you asking can't they do the same for you nah because they won't have ever met anyone as great as you and not everyone thinks this way or has watched this video for those of you still skeptical about your abilities to do any of the things I've mentioned in the video, I've seen this stuff in action more than a few times. I'm currently thinking of four friends off the top of my head I know that are just ugly. They're, they're hideous. Objectively ugly. Oh, they're my dogs though. They're my doggies. But man, I'm telling you, I've seen them pull the hottest girls like a good number of times. All four of them exude confidence even though they look pretty close to this. I've also seen them fail a few number of times but they keep on going. They get in relationships and leave relationships just like the rest of us. And now it's your turn. Head out and try your hardest to talk to that first guy or girl. Set yourself up for success and just do it. Then, then I want you to talk to that second guy or girl because that's the most important one. If you get discouraged and stop at one, it will be significantly harder for you to ever approach anyone again. Immediately bouncing to number two will change your life. So go out there and make out with the Beyonce's and Rihanna's of the world. And if they spray you with mace, don't sue me. You must have missed a step.